All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to make one of these antennas for uh, these uh, little RF uh, receive modules. As you can see, we are going to make an antenna that can be soldered right into here. Let me flip it around here. Right there. So, let's get started. And that's what it'll look like basically when we're done. And I'm using uh, 18 gauge solid wire, copper. And uh, this is from uh, just some uh, thermostat wire. So what we're going to do is try to get this somewhat decent. So. This stuff's pretty playful and pretty strong. So we need to, first off, measure out 53 uh, millimeters. Give and take, we're not building furniture here. So we can uh, be a millimeter off. I don't think it's gonna matter. So I went ahead and marked uh, with a pencil there. Then we're going to use something roughly around two and a half millimeter in diameter. So I just got this little uh, Phillips screwdriver here. So we're just going to start making these turns at the 53 millimeter mark. So we need to make 16 turns. So we need to do 16 times here. So there's one. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. Yeah. Then we can just press it together there like such. Okay, so what we can do now is go ahead and take that off. And I got a pair of small needle nose here and I'm just going to bend that straight out like that. Because this is going to be the side that we're going to solder on. I believe then we can <clears throat> bend that out like such then this one here is going to be 17 uh, millimeters so we're just gonna do put it about right there then just use a pair of dikes or snips and cut it off. And there you have it. So you have yourself a little antenna that can be soldered on there and hopefully it receives a lot better. So Sorry about if my camera's off a little bit because I'm trying to stay centered because I'm having my camera set up a little bit different here doing this to try to get an overhead view other than looking down like in some of my other videos. So it's kind of hard to get used to it. So, all right, thanks. Stay tuned for another one.